hundreds gathered here. Unfortunately, the forest people gave a wrong picture. Rampant illegal mining has been going on. To be honest, I was not expecting this to happen. Those are the kingpins, mafias. Police didn't take any action. Ita bivat man, ita ita police system or parar parar karne hoy to aji ye police to usna hoy. Tribals are discriminated. Tribals are exploited. Tribals are suppressed. Tribals are manipulated. Ami amar mullaban was gosoni kati ami. Uh, we are very much hopeful that you know the Guwahati High Court will will definitely look into all these matters. There are two parallel protests taking place in Assam, one on social media and the other on the streets of Margareta town, one to save the environment and wildlife and the other to save Coal India Limited and the livelihood of around 2,000 people. Amid the protests, Coal India has come under the scanner for alleged illegal mining for over 10 years. We at East Mojo decided to travel to Margarita to bring you a ground report. According to the Forest Conservation Act 1980, Coal India had to attain a clearance from the Forest Department, which it didn't. Now, after 17 years, a standing committee of the National Board for Wildlife has recommended approval to Coal India Limited's operations. Coal mining in Margarita dates back to pre-independence era but Coal India was given a 30-year lease to carry out its operations only in 1973. The lease expired in 2003. The decision took social media by storm, giving birth to a movement to save forests of Ding Patkai. Top celebrities like Dia Mirza, Adil Hussain, Joy Barua, Angurak Papan Mohanto and several others lent their voice to the popular movement. Two PILs and a Suomoto case was filed in Guwahati High Court and another in the Supreme Court against Coal India. The petitioners alleged that Coal India carried out illegal coal mining in 98.59 hectares area of the Saleki proposed reserve forest from 2003 to 2020 without prior approval of the central government. This caused severe damage to the ecology of Saleki proposed reserve forest by conducting open cast mining and violation of the Forest Conservation Act 1980, among several others. The term Dihing Patka is derived from two entities, the river Dihing, which runs through the forest, and the Patka Hills. The total area of 937 square kilometers is a combination of several rainforests or reserve forests. They include Dili Reserve Forest, Jaipur Reserve Forest, Upper Dihing West, Dirok, Tokuwani, Kokajan, Upper Dihing East, Nolini, Pilobari, Toroni, Bura Dihing, Kotha, Lekhapani, Tirap, and Tinkupani. Saliki lies along the Assam Arunachal border here. Although the ongoing controversy is regarding coal mining in and around Saliki proposed reserve forest, environmentalists say that the entire area was originally an elephant habitat. Kohati based environmentalist Moloi Borua says that the demarcation of Dihing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary was constricted due to several vested interests as several surrounding forest areas were excluded from the wildlife century. The Dihing Patkai century came in 1994 uh, or so only with an area of 111 square kilometer. Actually there was a big uh, gap 
what was the demand and the, what actually we got. Uh, it came in 2004. Uh, unfortunately, the forest people gave a wrong picture that adjacent forest to the existing Dihing Patkai century, that is Dirok, Upper Dihing and Jaipur Reserve, the adjacent areas are not conditionable in a condition that could be handed over as wildlife century. That, that was not raw, that was not correct at time. Now, of course, picture has changed. Even now, the Jaipur century, which has a hundred square kilometer area, has a vast area and it is a very good uh, patch of forests are available there and only 10 percent of the forest of Jaipur has been destructed. That means, Jaipur should be declared as an wildlife century separated from Dihing Patkai with that 90 uh, square kilometer area. That is very much a viable proposal. So, that should be the government this should be no, born to the notice of the government, Chief Minister of Assam and they should declare this. Otherwise, it will also go. Another factor that added to the controversy is a report by W.I. Yatpon, Deputy Inspector General of Forest, Shillong that was submitted to the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change following a site inspection at Tikok Open Cast Mining Project. It revealed that 16 of the unbroken 41.39 hectare area had already been cleared, leaving only 25.39 hectare as unbroken. The matter only came to fore through a reply of an RTI filed by environment activist Rohit Chaudhary. This also created a rift between the Standing Committee of National Board for Wildlife and the Assam State Board for Wildlife. Bibhav Kumar Talukdar, a member of the SBWL, had to issue a clarification note since SBWL was being blamed for supporting NBWL in providing the first phase clearance to Coal India. See, for any developmental in you know, a project, uh, generally if it is a forest area having some wildlife significance, and especially for national park and wildlife sanctuary, you know, the opinion of state board of wildlife is needed by the standing committee of national board of wildlife, you know, in order to decide the next, you know, the final step. But the power to accord permission lies with the standing committee of national board of wildlife. Um, so this is, these are the processes. Um, sometimes, you know, for forest clearance, if any developmental projects are being, you know, proposed in a reserve forest or a proposed reserve forest, then generally it is goes to the Forest Advisory Committee of Government of India. Forest Advisory Committee has the power to give, you know, such permissions in the forest or reserve forest areas. Whereas related to, you know, wildlife areas, it is the National Board of Wildlife, but not full board of National Board of Wildlife. It is a standing committee of National Board of Wildlife. So basically, State Board of Wildlife gives the opinion based on which, you know, the central government who has the ultimate power ultimately decides. You know, it may be sometimes State Board may say yes, central government say, can always say no. Even if, you know, the State Board say no, Central government may say yes, so by, because the ultimate power lies with the central government, with the Standing Committee of National Board of Wildlife. Well, see, you know, now there is being a High Court case. Even the you know, Honorable High, Guwahati High Court has taken a so motor case. I am sure, you know, High Court will look into those things because there are, you know, you know, issues with regards to actual information being given to the different committees, and you know, the recent statement by Forest Department and Coal India doesn't actually tally. So let Guwahati High Court take its own course of, you know, judgmental views and we are very much hopeful that, you know, the Guwahati High Court will, will definitely look into all these matters. In order to get to the root of the issue, we headed towards the coal rich town of Assam. So we are locked and loaded and off to Margarita, the town that is usually known for tea state, scenic beauty and the golf course. So let's see what's on the books for us. To reach Margarita, we had to travel a distance of around 540 kilometers, crossing Kaziranga, Jorhat, Sivsagar and Dibrugar. 
It was already dark when we reached Margarita. So after traveling for around 13 hours, we are finally in Margarita. It took us around half an hour longer because we took a wrong turn and that had added on to our journey. Anyway, since uh, it's already dark, so I think we'll call it a day and we'll start again tomorrow. The next morning, our first destination was Tikok Colliery, where mining has been suspended since October 2019. So, the place I'm standing right now is Tikok Colliery, which, uh, according to the website of Northeastern Coal Fields, was established in 1986, and the entire controversy of open cast mining began from here. Tikok became a familiar name after Coal India and National Board for Wildlife came under the scanner for allegedly presenting manipulated data of the actual area used for mining. Environmentalists claim that the broken patches of forest areas along with Dihing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary were earlier elephant corridors. The current situation, however, is a part of the linear impact on the environment due to industrialization activities in and around the area. These pictures were captured in camera traps set up in Joypur Forest Reserve. Locals of the area, however, say that they have not seen elephants for generations, which contradicts one of the core issues raised by environmentalists. We spoke to Rana Jyoti Neog, a journalist from the town. Social media, Hamazik, my Tomot, it attacked a sip of Posar, because it was a Salekit, Saleki Hosti Corridor, Koizot Kulahon Hosti Corridor. All of Nagotami on Hong Pat Melot, Ami on Kohon Gorisilu, yet Ami Goisilu. Yar Bumiputomanokin is a Tangsa, Bumiputoman is Jama, Singpo, Tai Pake, Tai Kamyang, Ezonogusti Homoe, Yar Etun Solar, Bumiputro. Even so, Zonogusti Hokolo, Hokolor. Hokola Dabi Kurile, Dabi Kurile, it was a Hompuno, Poposar, a hosti corridor of Kunukot Haine. Yet to Epa Hot Kitao, Teluga Purbo Purke, but Teluga Kunu Manue Kitao Hati de Haine. The Gotike Yazonogusti Homo has the Koi, Tanya Zonogusti Homo has the Koi at Kitao Kunukahani, it wants a Hati de Hane. Bear upon Tanya Bakinda Hokolo de Hude, um Kununoko Yat and Hati de Hisuli, Mojitami Bioktober Hude, Hude, Mo Hudrikoposor, Yatasu. It was all there, so Musor, Usorte, Coiler, Conanhoi, can you get your more hati gota, more Hunane? What you get at a Bibadman at a Poribek, Sisti Korar, Korar Karne, who to Aji, a Poribek to Hosana Hose? After talking to Neog, we decided to reach out to the indigenous communities and get their side of the story. On the foothills of Saleki proposed reserve forest, we found Saleki Gaon or Saleki village. The village headman, however, Wanted to stay clear of the controversy. Was with a forest to look at a penaki, then to Cotasulia say. He took up one local record. They do what I could do. 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 They do what I had to talk so, I to shop to the Jane, Manubra Jani play, Palapola, who are the Korean Taga to a good Kiko Takemon. So we are right now at Saliki village. So we tried to speak to the village elder here, but he refused to speak to us. However, he also mentioned that uh, they are against open cast mining, they are not in favor of open cast mining at all. Well, uh, but uh, within this very short conversation that we had, he mentioned that they are not opposing underground mining here well that uh, creates a big question in fact so what about the environment issue that is that is being raised uh, regarding mining in Saliki proposed reserve forest so if underground mining is carried out that will uh, put an equal impact on the environment and the people of the village and the locals that live in the surrounding areas we'll try to speak to another person uh, of, of the village let's see what he says None of the attempts to speak to the people there was successful. We, however, were able to talk to some of the women who directed us towards the villages that shares borders 
with Arunachal Pradesh. On our second day, there were protests in Margarita. People from different associations and organizations demanding resumption of mining in Tikok and Tirap collieries gathered in the town. This was after Coal India suspended its operations in Tirap, the only functioning colliery in the area since June 7. To be honest, I was not expecting this to happen. There are like hundreds gathered here. This is our, on our second day, by the way, in Margarita, and you can see that there are hundreds of people who gathered here and amid uh, COVID-19, and people are asked to maintain social distancing. So you can see, since we have, we are from the media, so we have access to the stage, and we have been able to capture all everything from the stage itself. So there are this a uh, lot of associations, organizations, uh, people from the mining companies. Workers of the uh, workers working in the mining companies, people uh, employees of the of uh, Coal India Limited, and a lot of media is also present here to cover the entire protest. কিন্তু অস্থায়ী আৰু ঠিকা ভিত্তিক কৰ্মচাৰী সকলো মিলালে 4000 4000 জন ফটকভাৱে বিজয়িত Autonomic habit to yet so. Okay, on so, we are on so, lak lak manu, because of a current, Potoko, Purukova, Hokole, you took a logo joy, you took a joy, you took a logo, so we got a yellow good system. We have a cutting look in Puja, affected. The local journalist association was also supporting and taking part in the protest. We also tried to speak to Jugal Kumar Bora, general manager of Northeastern Port. So we tried to speak to the general manager of uh, Northeastern Gold Fields, but uh, no luck because he refused to speak to the media or give any official statement on the entire issue. That's it. We, however, could pull some strings to get some sources to speak to us off the records. The sources in Coal India denied of any illegal mining in the area. The PSU had applied for nine leases, of which only three leases were suspended, which did not include Margarita. So it was assumed that the government had not suspended their operations. They also mentioned about paying taxes to the state government every year since 2003, and the entire issue has been designed to cover up anomalies by the Forest Department and the state government. Our next stop was the Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary. Although we could not spot any animals, but we did meet a team of forest officials who were on a combing operation in the area. So the place where I'm standing right now is Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary, the epicenter of all the controversy that's happening uh, regarding Coal India Limited, Dehing Patkai and uh, Elephant Corridor and all the coal mining issues. Behind me is uh, 
Deomali Forest Division, which is in Tirab district of Arunachal Pradesh. And on the other side, right in front of me, is Dihing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary. And there's a river right between, right underneath this bridge that I'm standing on. That is the demarcation between Dihing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary and uh, Arunachal Pradesh. So, uh, uh, a while ago, we were also lucky to meet a team of forest officials who uh, have been assigned on a combing operation since April this year and they are also visiting various areas that have come under the radar uh, of the illegal coal mining, uh, ele elephant corridor and um, effects on the environment and Dihing Batkai and they mentioned that uh, they have they're visiting all the coal areas uh, especially Tikok and Tirap and they also mentioned about rat hole mines that are near uh, Saliki and uh, Tikok and Tirap. However, they also mentioned that there is no clear demarcation in several areas, such especially uh, in Saliki proposed reserve forest, which makes it difficult for even forest officials to identify uh, where the area begins from and where it ends. So that is another uh, problem they, they and we have also been facing. So. Uh, that makes the controversy even that entangles the entire thing in various other issues. Illegal mining in the area is another factor that on one hand has been filling pockets of many for years but on the other hand has been corroding the environment and economy of the area. Although off camera everyone talks about it but on camera, the situation is dealt with sheer diplomacy. In Guwahati, we met opposition leader and former forest minister Pratut Bordoloi, who has been candid about illegal mining in Margarita and its adverse effects on the environment. However, things took a political turn as soon as we decided to speak to him. You remove the subsoil, you get the very rich coal. The greedy people, they would just go inside the reserve for a rainforest, they would remove the subsoil and they will find coal seam. That is precisely this is happening for the last four years actually. The present government, in the name of development, they would do anything. They don't have any qualms for plundering the resources, the natural resources. Coal mafia got, you know, somehow got immersed and then they have taken excavators, JCVs, mechanical excavators, they have gone inside, they have started uh, doing the open gas mining. A very large part of uh, media people were also there. Actually, unless police protects or unless police facilitates, this kind of huge record of illegal mining cannot take place. Rampant illegal mining has been going on. They have mentioned about, I think, 18 names those are the kingpins, mafias. Police didn't take any action. If I was a part of that, why did I you know, establish the protected areas? I am challenging you. Why don't you challenge? I, you take up the challenge.